There will be a time when the need arises to migrate a WordPress website to a new host or a different server. And if you want that time to be easy, you should watch this video. Seriously, we aren't gonna make you memorize the patterns of migratory birds. This will be useful. As with any web project, success starts with advanced prep. It's important that you prep your website to be transferred. The size of your database will determine how quickly your migration happens. So, make your file and database size as small as possible. You can do this by removing all backups and cache directories from old plugins, as well as unused themes, plugins, and videos. Make sure you inventory all your content and have a checklist of everything you must migrate from point A to point B. If you find old content that does not need to migrate, eliminate it. Review your theme files and make sure to note any additions you made to coding. Also, be sure to inventory your network resources and configurations. Don't forget to review your JavaScript frameworks and versions of your site so you have a smooth transition. Contact the provider who issued your SSL certificate to understand the terms and conditions related to migrating your site. Some websites will be too big, over one gig, to manually or automatically migrate. Export a compressed SQL file to understand the actual size of your database. For larger databases, plan on migrating using SSH commands. If you are migrating a big e-commerce site, take some extra steps to make sure your product data, customer data, and order histories transfer. Finally, as part of your preparation, enable a maintenance page that will provide a user-friendly message to users with alternative links to visit when the site is undergoing migration. Backing up your website before migration is extremely important, especially if you run into a problem during the transfer like corrupted or missing files. Retrieve your website files from the original host. Then, log into your web host and copy all of the files from your website's root directory to a folder on your local computer. Once the transfer is complete, you can move on to copying the database. To copy the database, log into your host control panel and access PHP My Admin. Select your website's database from the left column and then click Export from the top menu bar. The export method should default to Quick, which is acceptable for these purposes. You'll also want to make sure that the format is SQL. This will ensure that your backup is universally acceptable for MySQL. Click Go, and you'll be prompted to download the SQL file. Move this file into the same folder as your website to keep track of it while you complete the migration. With migration prep completed, it's time to decide if you want to migrate the site manually or automatically. Manual migration is just what it sounds like, copying and pasting your existing website data by hand. Well, well, not like that. A big benefit of manual migration is that you can review the content during the entire process, giving you the ability to ensure each piece of content is placed and linked correctly as you migrate it. However, there are some negatives to manual migration. For one, it's not suitable for large sites and it can take up a lot of time. There is also more room for human error, so you will need to build in extra time for testing after the migration is completed. For automated WordPress migrations, you will use custom applications, extensions developed by CMS platform vendors, or universal migration tools that will move all your website data from one platform to another. Automated migration is an efficient method for large sites and is way faster than doing it manually. However, even though most hosts offer free migration, sometimes there is an extra cost to purchase or develop the tools needed to automate migration. For either process, you're going to need to select a plugin or software add-on that gives you the functionality to do migration. There are many plugins and tools that you can use to do it, and many hosts who offer easy automated migration. So, what should you do after migrating a website? At this point, your website should be in working order if the domain has remained the same during the move and if your domain name system is already set up. But if you still need to do a domain change, 
both the site and home URL will need to be refreshed. You can do this temporarily by adding these lines to your wp-config-php file with your domain replacing the text example.com. If you don't want to add temporary domains, you can use a host file to preview your client's website on a new hosting before going live with a DNS change. You can also do this by adding entries to the host file on your local computer. You should also do a general find and replace to find all instances of the old URL. Often these URLs end up in many more places than just the configuration. Plugins such as the Better Search Replace can be helpful in speeding up this process. If the domain will remain the same after the migration, you'll only need to change the A record for your domain, the most basic type of DNS record, to point to the IP address of your new hosting account. Some WordPress themes also require additional steps after you complete the previously mentioned steps. At this point in your journey, do some quality control and double check that the migration went well. Follow these steps. Make sure the permalinks to your post and pages are updated. In WordPress, go to Settings, Permalinks, and click Save. This way, all the permalinks are refreshed to match the new host. You won't need to change anything else on this page then check to make sure pages, posts, and links are showing up and working properly. Check for missing images, broken links, and other signs that things might be broken. If you find any problems, be sure to fix them in WordPress. Some common areas to troubleshoot include contact form not sending emails after migration, modify control files accordingly in Website Builder, PHP version differences on website sources and hosting destination, Check for remnants from previous hosts in WordPress files. Next, you want to delete the installer and archive files from the tool you used, since they can pose a security risk. Before you delete anything else, make sure you have the local backup copy of your files and the database export along with the original wp-config PHP file in case you need to reverse the migration. Don't forget to cancel the account with your old hosting provider so you don't get charged twice. And do any last minute additional steps. For instance, make sure you get the SSL certification if you will be asking for personal information or want to make sure the client relationship is secure. If you expect heavy traffic or international visits, look into using a CDN or content delivery network. If you're using a firewall, update your IP in its settings after you migrate to a new host. Knowing how to migrate a website is an important part of any web freelancer's job. And it doesn't have to be hard. Follow our advice, and you will be a migrating wizard in no time.